Hello? It's been long eternity I made my tutorial about how to animate character in Spine. It was made in a very superficially way though. So, today... I'd like to delve more deeper into some places. Namely, show you how to make a live your eyes composition. Before I begin, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll get started with the explanation. To begin with, it is necessary to create a similar structure using two bones for each eye, like this. We slightly adjust these structures using the first bone and move them. Also, make sure that the first bones extend from the head bone by checking the red dashed lines. Next, we're adding IK constraint to the second bones. Now, let's combine pupil to the second bone. For this operation, you should select first bone, hold control on the keyboard and press on the layer you need. Here we have selected pupil for the purpose of creating pupil's bone tied to the second bone. Click on the selected pupil, approximately to the center. After that, there's a bone you should set parent to the second bone. The next step of operation is making eyes mover control. Make it from the head bone. After that, tie our eyes IK to the eyes mover. Here's a first result, but that's far from all. Next, click on eye bones and uncheck rotation and scale boxes on both. Speaking of which, moreover, you must check the boxes and setting of both our eyes IK. That one. Yeah, look at this smooth move, guys. We should move these structures so these pupils look realistic by moving eyes control and don't go over the edge too far. Thereafter, make a bone to each eyelash, parented from the head bone. Next mover we're gonna create is blinking controller. Yeah, we also gonna have blinking system. The next step of operation is binding available bones we created, but it is necessary to follow the sequence. First off, you must bind just head bone to the eyelashes. And only then we bind the bones specifically created for the eyelashes. There's also a small feature of mechanic. You should bind upper eyelashes bones to the lower eyelashes. You'll get it later what it's for, the same goes to the face layer. First bind head bone, then the other bones. All right, it's time to move on to the second stage. Get weighted eyelash layers to the bones. Click on this button to change the workspace. Make this simple animation, like blinking or something. Don't forget to add a smooth graph. And after that, choose eyelashes bone in the weights list and gradually start to add the weight of this bone to these points. Right now, I'm trying to ensure the proper functioning of the upper eyelashes. Depending on the image you choose, the result may vary, but I think you got the gist. The same thing we do with the lower eyelash. Creating a familiar animation of lower bone and get weighted our eyelash. By the way, here's the feature I wanted to show you. I use the upper bone in order to get down some points that the lower eyelash layer has. Remember what we bound the eyelash bones to the face? Now, choose the face layer, select the eyelash bone, and get weighted the eyelid points. eyes. We finally got blinking function and it's all good but I have some bad news for you so. You gotta create the animation of the other blinking function by your own. You must believe. What is the next step of operation? In reality, the pupil's movement can influence the eyelids and highlights on the eye surface shift as the pupil moves. So we're gonna do that movement by transform constraint but what is this tool? In short, we use one bone to influence another, but it's easier to see once than here a hundred times. Watch closely. Select any eyelash bone, then add the transform constraint and choose the bone it will depend on. After that, press on match button in the constraint setting 
Next, increase the transform slider as much as you need. Here you go guys, do the same with the rest of bones. I also gonna add constraint to the white glares I have. It should look something like this. Now we need to finish the blinking controller. To begin, remove all the blinking animations. Trust me, we created these animations to set weights on the points. Now it's time to get our controller to work. First off, choose the upper eyelid bones and set parent to the blinking controller. Then guess what? We're back to using this constraint. Gonna influence the lower bones with the upper one. The only thing we need now is the negative movement. So let's set it to minus. The only thing we need now is the negative movement. So let's set it to minus. Something might be unfinished, so you gotta correct by adding the weights to the necessary layers. In fact, everything is already ready. I'll create a simple animation and it's all done. Well, that's it. I hope you had a great time and learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and good luck trying out this method.